This has to be the coolest, man, because this is where it all started. I'm going back to my roots another day. Bonanza welcome back Gerald Riggs, who once dominated prep football in Las Vegas. He went on to ASU, then the NFL and wrapped up his career with a Super Bowl win. But Bonanza wasn't his first choice. Western High is where Riggs cut his teeth playing football, but in 1977 was forced to go to Bonanza. I, I came over to Bonanza kicking and screaming, but uh, God had his hands on me and kind of steered me right into the platform. He didn't want to come here. You know, he was forced over here. Surprisingly, this humble, quiet running back didn't get along with Bonanza's head coach and was nearly kicked off the team. And he basically ran Gerald off the team, emptied out his locker and said, we don't want you. We all took a vote and said, you know, we want him. We want him to play for us. He's, he's part of us. Other than a vote, we had to run. We had to do sprints, whatever it took. It was almost unanimous. One guy voted no. That's a whole nother story. The rest is all history. Who knows what would have happened, but Riggs played his senior year and blossomed into one of the best backs in Nevada, just 71 yards shy of the all-time rushing mark, and was the highest player drafted from Nevada, still is, ninth pick in the very first round. For seven seasons, Gerald Riggs was the iconic symbol. He played more than a dozen years and still is the only fullback picked that high in the draft, scored twice in Super Bowl 26. And everybody, when they look back on it, they'll be able to say that, you know what, hey, he was in there and we saw him score a couple of times. Missed, almost got three touchdowns though. That, you know, was the, the pinnacle of his career and it just, it just made everything wonderful for us. Hundreds of students, mostly athletes, filled the Bengal Theater and listened to the former star talk about life and never giving up on themselves or God. You live by the word you will your life will be better off the former super bowl champion was honored by the reception and he in turn then honored the school with an nfl golden football presented by those who have played in a super bowl not a single bengal here will forget this day a day 30 years in the making when bonanza's very first and most decorated star came home and out of all the um the uh the honors and stuff that's been bestowed upon me over my years uh, this is uh, this is at the time i'm going back to my roots